ஹலோ நமஸ்கார் வணக்கம் இட் இஸ் நாட் வணக்கம் மை நேம் இஸ் சுதீர் அண்ட் யூர் வாட்சிங் சிபிஎஸ்இ வித் சுதீர் அண்ட் வித் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் த சயின்ஸ் சிலபஸ் ஃபார் கிளாஸ் செவன் யோர் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் திஸ் இயர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் கியூரியாசிட்டி ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஹாவ் ஆல்ரெடி பாட் திஸ் புக் லைக் லாஸ்ட் இயர் திஸ் இயர் டூ இட் ஹேஸ் டுவெல்வ் சாப்டர்ஸ் ரைட் டுவெல்வ் சாப்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் பி discussing the first chapter which is more like an introduction chapter to what all is there in this book so get hold of this book because we are going to start the syllabus for science for students of class 7 here on cbsc with sudeer so press on the subscribe button one more important thing let me tell you this video is for those who want to understand in english if you wish to understand the chapters in hindi there is a separate hindi playlist wherein everything will be explained in hindi so this time we are doing double mehnat double hard work for all your students okay so share the videos with your batch mates and subscribe to the channel let's get started science with sudhir sir cbsc class 7 as i said what is the textbook called the textbook is called curiosity for class 7 now i realize i think they will be naming this they will be going consistently with the same name for all the classes the first chapter is called the ever evolving world of science the ever evolving world of science so this is more like an introduction chapter as i said now what is in the book what is it that this student is reading in this particular book curiosity it is going to tell you basically the craft of questioning that you see one thing that i want you all of you students to realize that science unlike languages is not about something which you learn only sitting inside the classroom science is about the world around us a bit like geography it is about the world around us so you need to learn to question why does this happen why does that happen why does this particular phenomena happen only during the day and not during the night anything okay so you need to develop the craft of questioning you need to develop an interest in performing experiments very important you need to develop the knack to explore to discuss explore does not mean only instagram reels and youtube shorts you need to explore the natural phenomena that are taking place why is a particular place more pro why do more earthquakes and tsunamis take place in and around japan right what is it about japan and the ocean around japan that makes it vulnerable to earthquakes have you thought about it why is it that the soil in telangana maharashtra etc is suitable for growing cotton and not for let's say jute right why is bengal suitable for growing jute you need to start asking questions explore to discuss it with people who may have the answers let your imagination take flight in the sense let your imagination run okay let me try something like this maybe i will discover that's how inventions takes place take place that's how discoveries take place step out of this book this book is only a guide for you you need to read this book and then go beyond this book that will be the final purpose of this book which is very aptly titled curiosity step out of the classroom the learning will not take place inside the classroom the learning the real learning will take place in the laboratory outside in the world also be a young science explorer that's another thing which this chapter tells you be a young science explorer see i have made notes of this thing these are all short notes so that you know even if you don't read the chapter you see this thing that's enough there is nothing more beyond what i have told you in these points find out how science can address environmental challenges how science can help us fight against climate change against global warming against melting of glaciers how can science help us prevent that arrest that that something which is what you need to look at so all this in this in the book so what are the kind of questions i mentioned some of the questions like about japan about soil etc 
what are the kind of questions why are some fruits sour you know khatta kyu hota hai why is lemon khatta but watermelon is sweet but some watermelons are not very sweet right orange is sweet apple is sweet mango is of course very sweet grapes are sweet but then there are some fruits or some vegetables which are very sour why is it what happens when you get a haldi stain on your shirt right on your school uniform what happens when we wash that haldi stain try it observe it discuss it find out that's what this book is all about that's what you class 7 students are expected to do why do batteries run out you have a battery okay uh, the ac runs on the remote runs on a battery after a few months you realize that the battery has run out right you may not be using it but you forgot to remove the batteries and the battery runs out when you start to use it again why are you would say but i have not used it you sell you charge your cell phone but it runs out of charge in 24 hours 48 hours whatever so why do the batteries run out why do fruits ripen you buy some banana but after a day or two you see that the skin has become dark why do fruits ripen so those are the kind of questions that you need to ask interesting factoid this is not in the book this is not in the book this is for your general knowledge cats can hear cats bilia they can hear up to 64000 hertz hertz about three times higher than humans they have much more sharp ears than human beings so this is an interesting factoid now general knowledge you need to be and if some of you are interested in quizzing stay with the channel you will get to know much more than just what is there in the book so book as i said is only a template book ke beyond jao and i would really urge parents who are listening to this video seeing this video encourage your children to explore more the world is of scientists the world is of innovation the world is of entrepreneurship so encourage your children to have that kind of a scientific temper right now baad mein ratta maar ke ek ek template ko follow karke je mein jaane ka fayda nahi hai you need to kind of get that scientific temper that's very important then there are questions about the plant kingdom and botany is one of my favorite subjects you know how do plants get their food i mean this is a plant this is the sun how do they get their food the phenomena called photosynthesis do they also breathe does this leaf also breathe and if yes how do they breathe all that we will learn in class 7 in your textbook okay then another very interesting i'm just giving examples shadows and time before watches were invented you had with the help of shadows you could if you are in delhi or if you are in jaipur please go and visit the jantar mantar you will get an idea about how in olden times you would actually find out the time based on the length of the shadows right so shadows and time you see the torch being put on the hand and you see a bigger shadow than the hand you put the torch at a particular angle and the shadow will be bigger than the size of the hand the concept of light very interesting i think there is a chapter i'll tell you the chapter number chapter number 11 is called light shadows and reflections right similarly i spoke about the plants chapter number 10 is life processes in plants right so those kind of things you would learn in this particular book through the next one year right earth and moon also the concept of light and earth and moon when they come in between okay they cast shadows leading to eclipses you know you have the lunar eclipse the solar eclipse okay what is called in hindi the uh, uh, chandra grahan and surya grahan right all those things happen so that is also extremely fascinating so i am looking forward to this are you ready for the magic is what you need to tell me say yes we are ready for the magic and then that will enthuse me me to kind of give it all out here right so this is going to be an extremely fascinating journey but before i go i want to tell you to subscribe and share now why i do why do i have a girl's photograph out here because some of the videos will be done by teju didi okay it will be called teju ki Shala. now uh, what are teju's credentials i will tell you about it 
She scored 97.2% in class 10, 97.6% in class 12. She is a B.Tech in computer science, that is an engineering graduate. She scored, she uh, sat for the MBA examination and she scored, you would be astounded to know, do you know what her percentile was? 99.9. .9. So, such a person is going to teach you science, so you can consider yourself extremely lucky. I will also be doing some of the chapters. Some of the chapters will be done by Teju Didi. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so this is the first chapter which we have finished. I've told you the basic points to this thing. The real thing starts with class chapter number two, which is on exploring substances, acidic, basic, and neutral. Both maza aega, both kuch naya ko milega. So I look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. Tata, bye bye. God bless you.